going on everyone here I am doing a video request for a YouTube user he wanted to see a demonstration of Microsoft Works 9 because he's seen some of my Windows XP computers got Microsoft Works 9 installed and I will get into details and just don't pay no mind of this I was just updating Flash Player um, Firefox and Opera that's what I use on this XP computer and I'm doing this straight from the Dell Dimension 2400 yeah I had to make some adjustments before I did this video I had to disable my hardware acceleration and so I could use Camtasia Studio properly because every time I try to record with Camtasia Studio on here it lags the entire computer let's go ahead and open up Microsoft Works Task Launcher and basically Microsoft Works is, is like a low budget version of Microsoft Office in some sort of fashion but if you have like the um, like a professional edition of Microsoft Office you get to have all your own um, publisher in included in the um, quick launch but if you have just a regular edition of Microsoft Office 2007 which is the home and student you still get your um, three typical applications that come with Word 2007, Excel 2007 and PowerPoint 2007 which by any means that this was like Microsoft this is the last version of Microsoft Works that Microsoft released in a uh, before they replaced it with Microsoft Office 2010 starter and once you have Microsoft all together you get to have the Microsoft inter Office integration included in Microsoft Works for easier access And this came out around the same time as Windows Vista did. Both Office 2007 and Windows Vista, even though we're not talking about Vista. But it, it, Microsoft Works 9 actually works just fine on Windows 7. Because oh, I've seen a lot of Windows 7 machines come with it before the release of Office 2007. It even comes included with some of, it, of its own template for different categories. We're just going to play around with it. Plus, all these categories are very, pretty much organized for what you for what you want and, and for what all you need. Even have them in various tasks. Because I remember on the older version of Microsoft Works. They had a template that you can use to make a for sale sign. But it has a lot of stuff that requires a lot of in to use MSN. And even offers a Microsoft Office trial. Got the little help menu. This ain't nothing really special. Just check out flyers. I think this might be the one with the for sale. Oh yeah, they have one. What do you have for sale sign? And once you choose the um template that you personally like gonna open up um Word Microsoft's works word processor. 
which is just like a generic version of Microsoft Word in my opinion. Let's play around. get the whole idea how these templates work and I'm just making a little example yeah let's get on out of there and let's talk about what the with the programs it comes with but once you include Microsoft Office 2007 like I said earlier it but this is the professional plus edition of Office 2007 I got on this machine. So it comes with all the, um, it has like access to all the Microsoft Office applications. If you feel more comfortable with um, Office 2007, instead of you going through the whole Microsoft Works app programs that are pretty much just generic for what you use it for. Got Word, Publisher, PowerPoint, Outlook, and Excel. You even have all your know, various te templates for um, Works Word Processor. You got your Word Spreadsheet, which is just like Microsoft Excel. which is very good for like a it's just like a generic Microsoft version of Microsoft Excel which you can uh, which is pretty limited and I'm going to show you a little template just to demonstrate you can use it to uh, make various logs I notice it includes like the uh, live search which will probably bring you to the MSN website and I notice it kind of have that style of Microsoft Office like in the older versions with Office XP and Office 2003 using the um, task pane for a little bit of convenience including a little area for recent documents You got Works Database, which is kind of like Microsoft Access and or somewhat like OneNote. I don't know the difference between Microsoft Access and OneNote. I'll probably get into details. I think OneNote is like the old, like Microsoft Binder, which which Microsoft Binder used to be included in like Office 2000 and Office 97. You even got the works calendar, which is something I've never seen. Let's take a look at it. Close on out of there. Which you can um, plan reminders and various events. You get the whole entire point. You can search for whatever event you have marked down. It even includes a dictionary. Which is something that Microsoft Word don't truly have, because Microsoft Word is m actually got something like a thesaurus. Just show you how the uh, dictionary, typical dictionary works. Just simply hit the look up.
It even includes PowerPoint Viewer, which is, I think this might be version 2007 it comes with. I might look at my start menu and see. If it has it on. Oh, there it is. Comes with version 2007. I know it's all versions of Microsoft Works come with PowerPoint Viewer. Comes with Works Portfolio. We'll play around and see what it does. That's one thing that always comes up every time you install an older version of Microsoft Works. Sometimes it'll be in the way. I don't truly see what the point of it is. Which all it is is just a program that, or an application that you can gather up pictures, text, files. It's just like some organizing thing. But uh, even has stuff for templates and all that stuff for the uh. To use for MSN Explorer. It even comes included with like in the project section. Which are just like templates. Which you can use like create inventory for all a lot of good stuff. just open up the uh, appropriate program and as you see it opens up database but I use something else than for my for inventories that I have for my um, vintage video game collection, I'll, I use Excel for that's what I use Excel for. has like typical small and small little templates that you can use you got all your history of all whatever portfolios or templates you use sorry for I didn't mean to say purport portfolio but my tongue got twisted there but uh like various projects that you opened up and templates and what's pretty neat you can even clear the history of what type of projects and stuff you were doing so no one don't you ain't gotta worry about someone snooping in or any recent documents that you don't want no one looking around at Here's just the home screen. Ain't really nothing that exciting, but it's your typical low budget Microsoft Office program that does whatever does with all you with all you need for a low budget. And I noticed some version some editions of Microsoft Works include Microsoft Word. for a little bit of a higher price even though Microsoft works is like a lower it's like a low price Microsoft Office while well, Microsoft Office was more of a higher price but too bad they discontinued it because they want everyone to use Microsoft Office and uh they own 
know why they starting to um, discontinue that um, Microsoft Office starter which would be pretty neat for someone to have a small portion of Microsoft Office on their OEM based machines so people can use have a little functionality of word processing and all that good stuff instead of wasting over a hundred dollars just to have a copy of Microsoft Office but some of them pirates out there would probably just go ahead and get in and download it from a torrent or file sharing networks of some sort but yeah this is just your typical Microsoft Works demonstration and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching